I don't understand graffiti. I, it, it must express something to the people that do it. The significance of this mine is it was the very first commercial mine here in the area, and by commercial I mean it was able to produce and export coal. There was something that they could now depend on for income because the dairying industry was not really doing that well and the timber cutting had ceased and there were opportunities and as soon as this happened mines sprung up along the coast. The first coal mining licence in the Illawarra was granted to Mount Kira Colliery in 1849 and there was great rejoicing to mark the day the first carts of black diamonds were shipped to Sydney from Wollongong via the steamer William IV. This was the means of transporting the men in and out of the mine on track, and there's still some track in there, I notice, on the ground. It also was a site where all of the men and materials went in, all of the, my, all of the machinery went in here on track, uh, or on flat tops rather, on track, and taken to the face, brought out again, uh, repaired over here in the workshop behind us, and uh, it just reminds me of another time when uh, I was more heavily involved directly with the coal mining side of things. It was a large facility, it really was. I would think the numbers would have always been between three and four hundred people, something like that, the total thing. Perhaps one third or one half of those would have been coal miners. The rest of them would have been uh, paid hands. I think it is very sad that this has just remained as it is and not been declared a heritage site because it has great significance. I understand there are some moves to try and do something about that, but it is very sad that it's just sitting here and uh, people don't have the opportunity to, uh, to understand why it's here and what it did for the area generally.